Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you haven't joined me before, then my name is Abby, you won't know me. Very nice to meet you. If you have joined me before and you're coming back, then thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you know. Today's video, I feel like I haven't sat down and done a video in a long time. Well, that's a lie. I feel like I haven't done like a sit down video in a long time, like I've done talking to the camera videos and I've done vlogs, but it feels like it's been a long time. In reality, it's probably only been about two weeks and it's really not that long and I'm just making a big deal out of nothing, but... <sighs> Welcome to my channel. You guys already know what today's about. You already know. You already know. So I don't really need to tell you, but... You guys... Come on, you know, it's a Primark haul. It's a Primark haul. This bag looks sad. Look at that. It's ripped. It's crinkled. This baby girl's been through a tough time. You alright, babe? Are you alright? Anyway, I'm very excited about it and you all should be too. I'ma just say as well, there is, as you can see, an anniversary card here. I didn't put that there on purpose to be like, oh, by the way, did you know I had an anniversary? That's just where the card is and it happens to be in my little filming corner, so... yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and just get straight on to it so if you are excited for this video and i'm pretty sure you are then make sure you do go down and give it a like down below also while you're down there just subscribe because this isn't the only fun video i'm going to bring out ever actually i bring out a lot of fun videos every week one every week actually to be exact so you should just go and hit that little subscribe button down there so this isn't predominantly, I don't know if I've said already, have I said already? This isn't predominantly a clothes haul. Um, it's, there's a few clothes items in there, which is what I'll start off with. Um, but most of it's kind of like home stuff, like bits and bobs that I've picked up. Like it's not, it's like accessories and do you know what I mean? It's not really clothes. But that's fine. I, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, so first things first, let's get started. I'm looking at it all and I'm like, ah. oh, literally the first thing I want to talk about isn't even next to me. I don't even know. Hang on. So first things first is you all know it and everybody's talking about it and everybody's raving about it. So I felt a bit left out and I wanted to jump on the bandwagon. And so I did Primark denim. I know. Did you hear that? So it just fell on the floor when I said that. <laughs> Primark denim. I have been wanting to try out for a long time and I did need some new jeans so we went and got some. I have taken the label off these because I wanted to wear them but don't worry. It means I can give you a full honest review. And let me tell you these were, these are amazing. These are comfortable, they fit round my waist and my thighs, which is always a struggle because these are mum jeans. In case you didn't know, these are the mum jeans. They're obviously rolled up at the bottom, like nice and... I don't even know how to explain, like they're just, they're lovely and they're so comfortable. And I cannot explain to you how much I struggle to find decent mum jeans because they never fit round the waist. And if they do, I can never get them over my thighs or my bum. It's an ongoing struggle, but let me tell you, these are really nice. They feel nice. They're not stretchy as such. If that's something you look for in a jean, these aren't stretchy, but in a mum jean, it's not really an issue for me. So they're not ripped, which I quite liked because the only other pair of mum jeans I have are ripped. So, you know, we want some variety. So these I got in a size eight and I think they're what? 10, 15 pounds? 15 pounds, I think. 13, 15. I've lost the label, I'm sorry, I'm a bad YouTuber, but you know Primark denim's cheap, like it's not, it's not expensive, which, you know, pros and cons, but that was my first purchase and I'm very excited to wear these throughout the summer for a nice meal, for dinner, dress it down with a nice tea and trainers, okay. Whilst we're on the little Primark denim train, let's not stop yet, hold on a second, we've got some more sights to see. As we prepare for the spring summer wardrobe, you know, I mean saying that now it's literally pouring with rain outside like it's the grossest day. That's why it's very dark on this side of my face because it's so grey outside. As we prepare, we need shorts. 
But let me tell you something now. I struggle to buy shorts that fit. I struggle. So when I tried these on, honestly, I was just giving money away to Primark at this point, like, I bought two pairs of shorts. And the dedication here is real because I went back to a different Primark to find these shorts in my size because they only had a 10 in the Primark near me. So I actually went to a different Primark. That's how badly I wanted them. So I got them in two colors. They're the high waist shorts. I got them both in size eight. They're what, 10 pounds, something ridiculous like that? 10 pounds. Um, and obviously, as you can see, they've got a frayed edge. They're really nice. They are quite short is one thing I would say if you are considering them. They are quite short, but they're not too short. So the short shorts thing is not my kind of thing at all. This I could just get away with. And I like, I probably just wouldn't wear it to a family event. Do you know what I mean? They're like that kind of short, like they're bearable. Um, so I got them in the blue and I got them in a black. Oh my gosh, I love the black ones, I actually can't cope. 10 pounds. It's baffling really, because honestly, I've got one pair of shorts in my wardrobe at the moment and they're massive, like they don't fit. Anyway, so those are my first purchases, that's the denim train, we can stop there, hop off the denim train, that's all the denim we've got today. I'm very impressed with it, I'm very impressed with it, I think those are going to be some really cute staples for summer. Okay, next, I bought these tracksuit bottoms. Now, these are from the men's section boys and girls. As you can see, they're just a really nice light grey, cuffed at the bottom. I got them in a size small. They were five pounds. Five pounds, do you know what I mean? I saw these on a video. I was watching Primark haul videos, because you know, it's all I ever do. And yeah, this YouTuber was saying that she really, really, really recommends and she really loves the men's tracksuit bottoms because they're only five pounds and they're really comfy and like really good quality. So as soon as I heard that, I was like, right, put that on the list because I need to go there and get them. I needed the shorts and I needed these so we had to go and get them. Do you know what I mean? Oh, they're just so comfy. Like, I just love loungewear. I love loungewear. I'm sorry. I'm an addict. So sue me. Oh, I don't know what to show you next. This is exciting. This is like an accessory. Next thing I bought was this belt. Now, I love this belt, do not get me wrong. It's gorgeous, it's snakeskin, it's got gold buckles, it's beautiful. I did pick it up in the wrong size. Hugely the wrong size, actually, like I'm embarrassed at how wrong I got it. Considering I've just been saying like, oh, there's no jeans that fit around my waist, they're always too big. I bought this in a medium. And it's massive. Do you know what I mean? Like, if, if a medium fits you, then fine, a medium fits you, but it doesn't fit me. Like, let's let's just let's just take a look at this, shall we? Okay, so here's <laughs> here's the last buttonhole, alright? And about here is where I need the first buttonhole. I think you can see my issue. Anyway, my boyfriend has very kindly offered to <laughs> put some extra holes in it so there's no issues there we don't have to take it back this was four pounds as i said i got it in a medium don't do what i did check your size it doesn't take long i was like oh nice buy that didn't even test it happy silly anyway i'm so excited to accessorize this with an all black outfit a white outfit with some nice burnt oranges and a reds a reds a red is what I meant to say. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Super excited about that. Next. I'm going to show you this next. I bought a bag. And I bought a bag because I accidentally ruined my other everyday black bag. Um, so we needed a new one. And I thought, you know, Primark's the place to go for that. Primark's going to be able to help me out. She's going to be able to hook a gal up. Do you know what I mean? And I was not wrong. This is the bag that I bought. This was eight pounds. And it's a black bag. I don't really know what else to say about it. It's got gold detailing, so it's gold, not silver. Really nice and simple. No pockets or anything on the inside, which isn't a massive issue because I tend to kind of carry smaller things around in like a little mini bag in my bag usually anyway because I'm so messy, so I try to keep it as contained as possible. Um, but I think this is really cute. Really cute. And 
yeah, like it. Eight pounds, prime money, what are you gonna say? Next, I bought, I don't know what to show you next. Oh, how could I forget about those? Can't really forgot, it's because they're on the floor next to me and I didn't, right, so these I didn't buy with this kind of stuff. I did buy these like a couple of weeks ago, but I have worn them a lot. I have worn them a lot and I've seen so many people buy these in their videos and they didn't have them in my Primark so I had to go again all the way to a further Primark just to get them because the Primark near me isn't very big they're all quite small ones so we had to go somewhere else so these are just black slip-on shoes they don't have a back on them they're just really cute what's this style called is it a, mu a loafer or a mule I don't know Please don't judge me for getting that horrifically wrong because I know I have. Horrendous. Anyway, they've got this really nice kind of gold detailing on the front. They're really simple, really comfy. Like, so comfy. And these were £8. I got these in a size 6 because that's my size. <laughs> oh, damn house. And yeah, I've worn them about three or four times already. And they're amazing. Like, I'm so glad I went to get them because I've seen them on so many other YouTubers' videos. And I was like, I need them. I need them well now I have them so yeah that's those I just thought I'd show you them because obviously I haven't done I didn't buy them as part of a big haul so I thought I'd slip them into this one as well as that actually then I could show you is that gross I don't know if that's gross I bought slippers again not part of this big haul but they are new like fairly new I've had them a couple of weeks again same thing as the others these are the Primark slippers these are four pounds four pounds and I've been wearing them relentlessly like literally religiously I wake up in the morning slippers on I come home from where I've been slippers on I get out of bed and go to the bathroom slippers on I go downstairs slippers on slippers are always on these are four pounds they're memory foam on the inside they are so comfy I can't even tell you and I know it's supposed to be getting warmer and everything but you really can't go wrong with a pair of slippers do you know what I mean I bought my mum some I was like mum this is these are gonna change your life I love them I need to get you some but I don't think she really thought I was going to get them and then literally like the next week I came back I was like bought you some slippers she was like oh my gosh thank you so much she wears them religiously they're always like dotted in different places around the house because she always wears them so if you haven't got any of these four pounds come on get yourself some memory foam slippers and you can thank me later okay so the next thing I got um these I always see and I always see everybody talk about their kind of like face what do you call it skincare skincare it's been a long day. I always see people talk about their skincare range and I'm never really sure about it because firstly it's very cheap. So I'm like, you know when something's so cheap and you're like, can I trust it? Is it legit? And also I wasn't sure if it was cruelty free because you may or may not know. I try to only use cruelty free. <laughs> can't speak. I try to only use cruelty free makeup products and skincare products um, just because that's my personal preference. I did however google it and then I found out that they are apparently cruelty free. So I was like right well then I need to buy some. If I'm wrong then please please do let me know because I don't ideally want to be using something that's not cruelty free when I haven't realised it but stop rambling Abby. Gosh you're so annoying. I bought these. Now these are part of the not their skincare range, I suppose they just sell it, it's the Creighton's is the brand, um, it says it just on the top there, also right next to it, £1.50. What? This is why I was so sceptical, because I was like, £1.50, are you sure? This is their Gently Cleansing Micellar Water, and I also picked up the Daily Face Scrub as well, because I needed a new one, and £1.50, your baby girl's going to be trying it out if it's cruelty free, do you know what I mean? So, they do smell lovely. Mm, they smell very clean, very fresh, and yeah, they intrigued me. So it turns out they are cruelty free, apparently so. So I thought I'd give them a go. I'm yet to try out the face scrub, um, but I've tried this once. I'm not sure about it yet, I'm not 100% sure, um, purely because I've got quite sensitive skin sometimes when I'm taking my makeup off, so I've got to kind of be careful with what exactly I put on it. I'm gonna give it another few goes um, and we'll see how it goes but for £1.50, I don't know if I've mentioned, it's £1.50, it's got to be worth a go, do you know what I mean? I'm currently using, let me see it in the background, that's the micellar 
makeup remover from Soap and Glory, which is £6, and this is the one I use religiously, I recommend it to everyone, it's amazing, it's so gentle on the skin, honestly, love it. Um, and I've also been using the Yes to Tomatoes Micellar Cleansing Water, which I do love as well, because that's kind of gently exfoliating, really fresh, and gets off all the dirt, like literally all of it. Again, I didn't place those in the background just so I could show you, it just so happened that they were there, but, you know, so I'm going to add that to my little makeup remover collection, right there, and we'll see how that goes. I'm yet to try out this, as I said, so I'm going to try that in the next couple of days, and hopefully it will be good. It says it gently exfoliates and unclogs pores, and it's got walnut shell in it. Walnut shell? Really? crazy. Anywho, next I just picked up another of their eyebrow brushes. This is the angled brow brush um, from the PS collection and it comes with like the brush and this little bit here and then the other end's like a spoolie brush bit which I find really useful for doing my brows. This again, what's the price? One pound, one pound. I bought a couple, the other one I've been using it works. I also, again, just picked up, boring, I know, but I picked up some of these. I've not used these ones before. I usually get my um, cotton pads from Superdrug and places like that. I've not tried these ones before, but everybody raves about them because they're so big. So they tend to just, I don't know, just do the job better. But 90p, I'm going to try it out. Next, I picked up this. This is one of their reed diffusers. This was three pounds and this is the clean cotton pomegranate and fig reed diffuser. It says it lasts up to eight weeks. I'll be the judge of that. Um, I do have a mini one, but I bought the big one because the mini one doesn't tend to smell of a lot. And I used it and I was really excited because they're a pound. I was really excited to use it and it just wasn't that great. But yeah, this is the other one. Yeah, there's loads of stuff in there and it smells amazing, but it's just not doing a lot do you know what I mean anyway so yes I bought that to try out which I'm really excited about so I feel like fresh clean smells are just some of the best sometimes do you know what I mean they're just amazing love them Our last couple of things before we finish up today I picked up this is embarrassing because I've used it but I picked up a water bottle and it's filled with water I mean, that is what you're supposed to use them for, but usually when people show you things like this in a video, they haven't used it yet. Mine's just chilling here with some water in it because I'm drinking from it. But this was... I had the label for this somewhere as well and I've lost... Oh, it's there. And there's no price on it. Oh, the price is on the bottom. <laughs> this was £4. Um, and this is the fruit infuser... Fruit. Fruit infuser water bottle. Don't let your articulation go, just for the vid. I've probably got one of these lying around somewhere already, but, you know, it's £4. Looks cute. As you can see, it holds the water perfectly. Jobs are good in. The last thing I bought from Primark, I don't want you to laugh at me for it, but I thought it was really cute. And I'm going to say this now, I did not need this. I didn't need it. I didn't need it at all. But, you know, when you see something and you're like, oh that's so cute I need it I bought a grater now wait 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 before you click off the video in absolute exasperation hear me out okay there's logic behind my buying this you know I still live at home I haven't moved out yet and there's a perfectly good grater downstairs in the kitchen but I am a fan of a lemon and ginger tea and when I say lemon and ginger, I mean like the real lemon and ginger. I want lemon slices. I want grated ginger in there, okay? And I thought, save me getting out the massive big grate every time just for a little bit of ginger. How ideal is this? How ideal? And it was two pounds. I'm not lying, two pounds there. It's really cute. It's pink. They did have other options, but obviously I had to go for the pink one. I bought it purely for no other reason than to grate my ginger. That's literally it. I bought it to grate my ginger. And then I thought, you know, when I do move out, my little mini grater can come with me. So no one's losing, really. So unfortunately, that is the last item for my Primark haul. I know. I know I'm very sad about it too. But don't worry, because you know there'll be another one soon. 
you know there will. So yeah, there isn't really a theme to this haul, which I'm not really sure what the title's gonna be as I'm filming it. Like, what am I gonna title that haul? Because it's Primark, but I don't wanna get you guys all excited and be like, huge summer Primark haul, because it's not. It's like the most random bits and pieces things from Primark ever. I'll have to think of that name later, have a little brainstorm for the title of the video. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, then thank you so, so much. I appreciate it more than you know. Again, as I said before, if you did like the video, please go down and give it a like down below. And also, give us a little subscribe as well. Come join the crew because I post videos every week, even if they're a little late, like last week. I'm really sorry about that. Technical issues were honestly killing me I was like oh I just need to get this video up and it, I couldn't export it properly it was like exporting out of sync and I was like I don't know how to fix it I don't know how to make it better in the end we worked it out thank you to the boy in the back he was an absolute angel although he did that thing you know when they say oh have you tried this and you're like no that's not gonna work and then they'll like, just try it anyway just try it anyway so you try it and it works and they're like what did I tell you like he was so smug he was like what did I tell you didn't I tell you it was gonna work? I was like, all right, go away. Fine, it worked, I appreciate it. Thank you very much now. Shh. Anywho, as I was saying, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss next week's video and turn on those bell notifications because that's what's gonna remind you. Otherwise you might, you might forget about me and that's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave a little comment down below. Um, about what your favourite thing was. I mean, I feel like that's not the right thing to say for this video. Like, love the cheese grater. Weird. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to go get into my trackies and get into bed because you guys know we like to keep it real around here. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Lots of love and I'll see you soon. Bye.